Hello, my people. How are you all doing out there today? Wonderful. And if you hear my rooster crowing out there, he's happy to just be here. He's wanting me to give him some food. That's what it is. Yeah. But I was pulling out these cards, and I told my husband, don't t don't call me or message me. And he, guess what he did? He did. He couldn't help it. He didn't get my message, he said. So I was already doing this, trying to tell you all. So, it, And if it's, it's your first time viewing, please hit subscribe. It's greatly appreciated, and I thank y'all. and Love all the support that I'm getting. Oh, and right here, Gambler come up upside down, and somebody's relying on luck rather than the hard work, and um, it could be a spiritual person, you know, and this facilitates spiritual commitments, and you serving as a channel of spiritual energy, all right? And somebody's wanting to get lucky with you, spiritual person. That's what it is, or somebody is... Uh, relying on you to do all the work and they're stealing your ideas and everything like, you know, how I know somebody's doing me 111 because uh, that's what I was saying when my husband called uh, the people that uh, when I first started this YouTube channel the next day, the next day they tried to, uh, they got in on my iPad and I, I talked to them and they got all my credit card information and I'm letting it be known on this platform that you're stupid because I told y'all law was watching. So the law done knows about it. The law knows. And I went all the way to town that day and they was like, go in there and put that money on these cards. And I said, no, how about I go to the fucking law? Oh, and they hung up. I never heard shit from the son bitches since. But, you know, keep your Bluetooth turned off because that's how they come through it. And yeah, you got to buy YouTube premium and all that, you know, and I still ain't done it, but I'm going to, and I'm going to get a new phone, and I'm going to keep this one, and that way, they can't get to me, you know, all right, so, but anyways, they're, uh, somebody's relying on you to do everything, you spiritual person, and they're wanting you to be a slave to them, and, you know, so they're wanting you to give your willpower to an external authority, authority out of fear of making your own choices no and i and i'm making my own choice to do this so don't think i that i'm not and somebody wants to destroy you somebody wants to destroy you okay and uh and maybe it, somebody is releasing what is potentially destructive in their lives at the moment and they're preparing for a new life yeah or, or maybe that's what they think that you're doing. I don't know. If, let's see what else it says. Let's see. What else, Spirit? Spirit said. Oh, it's a healer. And somebody's taking advantage of those who need help and failing to care for their self. You, so you got to care for yourself, people, first, all right? And uh, it's a film fatale. And, you know, this is somebody that opens their heart. When, when their dependency is rejected, you know, and uh, this highlights the erotic energy of the feminine. So, somebody's being seen as a film fatale at the moment. Okay, what else? Oh, and, and you know, you're, you're, you know, you're, somebody needs to seek solitude to focus intently on their inner life, and this serves as personal creativity, and that's what I'm doing. I, I'm still in hermit. I'm still in hermit. And I am a healer. And I'm not an upside down healer. Okay? Somebody's trying to destroy this healer. And make you look like you're you're shitty. And, and you know. And you're a child divine. You know. And that's, that's what you're trying to teach people. That you're just trying to do things with innocence, purity, and redemption. And this is just a special connection with the divine. Yeah. And that's why they don't like you. They're, they're trying to make a... A child divine be a slave to them. No, 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 I will not. No, nobody's going to make me be their down slave. I can tell you that right now. Nobody in this life is. No, 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 they ain't. They're not. And this child divine, you know, uh, you know, they seek humility and devotion to knowledge and openness to lifelong learning, you know, and I'm still a student. I'm still learning, you know, and I know that. And you, you could have a student that's a prostitute, you know, and and they just place material considerations and security above self-empowerment. But, you know, the light side of that would be extenuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. 
you know, I'm not negotiating nothing about, uh, negotiating nothing with, uh, anyone. <laughs> so it's saying, quit relying on luck. Uh, you know, you, you gotta pay attention to your spiritual commitment, and, and this will help, this will make, uh, will make you serve as a channel of spiritual energy, people, and, and no, nobody's being a slave. And somebody wants to destroy our new life that we're that we're doing, and 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 they're not getting to. And and uh, it's someone that isn't a healer, and uh, they take advantage of those who that need their help. And it's this film fatale person, you know. And uh, the, it's just someone that has erotic energy, uh, the feminine, you know, but. Uh, and maybe, you know, someone could see you as a film for tale. I don't know. But all I know is that I'm in hermit mode. And, you know, and we're seeking to make ourselves better for the human beings around us in our life. Because, yes, we do things like, you know, a child divine. And you also could have a child divine, uh, a child of yours that is a student of yours. And, and um, they're understanding, you know. Uh, that uh, they're not negotiating the power of your, you know, this exceeds the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. So they're not negotiating with anyone, but there's a gossip going on in a town, and you know, uh, they're gossiping and acting like they know something about something, and they don't know shit. I don't mess with nobody, so whoever's gossiping, they're a damn liar. I don't talk to nobody anymore. No, I don't. They're gossiping that a hero, that this hero networker, that's what their gossiping is. They're gossiping in it. You know, you just got a passion for your journey of personal empowerment, and they're gossiping about this hero networker, you know, and that's sharing information, you know, and this engenders social awareness and empathy. And there's a vampire around you, a vamp, and... That is, somebody is depleting others for your psychic survival and chronic complaining and codependency. So whoever complains all the time, you need to get rid of that person because they're not never going to grow because they're a damn bully. That's why I say bully. And and maybe you're intimidating to others. Somebody is or somebody around your energy, but... But the, you're needing to confront your inner fears that bully you. That's what makes people bully. 747, I just saw. Uh, that's a twin number. You can look that up and read the whole thing about it when I tell you that. So, so yeah, film fatale that went in hermit. You know, uh, maybe you got a child that's just like you or children and they're your students. And, and you might even have a student that is a prostitute. But, you know, that's the gossip and... The gossip is there's a hero coming to save you, you know, and they're a networker. And, you know, <coughs> and maybe they're just depleting you of your energy around, okay? So you got to be aware of that. And they want to bully you. Yeah, no, you don't get to do that, okay? You don't get to bully a mentor. You can't bully a mentor, people. So if somebody's out there trying to bully, well, you might as well stop because it ain't helping and it's not working. Nobody's bullying me, I can tell you that right now. And somebody could be doing uh candle candle work on you at the moment. And and they're trying to astro plane into your dreams. And if you have been listening to me, yes, there is a man that does that to me in my dreams and I don't like it. And you know, my husband listens to my readings, so if y'all wanna know and you think he don't, he does. So just remember, guy, it keeps trying to come over here and suck off of me and my channel. Quit fucking doing that, you know, because you're not allowed. I don't even, if you're doing it, I don't even know it anymore. Thank you for that, Spirit. Thank you for wiping that away. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate it so much. Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh, and I feel sick. But you're mastering yourself at the moment. You're mastering these uh signs you're mastering yourself it's self mastery that's what you're doing and and people don't have to like it people can gossip and the ones that gossip they still just shut up and not worry about what i do you know but you're mastering yourself and somebody 
um, you could be mastering uh, your handwriting. Maybe you're going to be an author or something, priest, you know. But it's saying you're authentic, okay? That's what it's saying underneath the priest right there. And what about slave upside down? Slave upside down is fickle. They don't understand what they're, they're doing. And this destroyer, and uh, this is releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing you for a new life. And that's what the numbers did. See, it prepared you for a new life. A new way of life. A new way of doing. And I told y'all that's what numbers will do. And now do you believe it? Because it does. And what about this healer that's upside down that, that doesn't know what healing is about? What about this healer upside down? This is somebody that wants to be like you, but they're not. Oh, healer upside down. They're doing spells. That's what it is. And no, it ain't me. I don't cast spells on no damn body. And nobody better say I do because that's a lie. But, yeah, they're, they're casting spells, you know. And, but this is also alchemy, you know. And you can alchemize the life you want. Anybody can. And, you know, I've alchemized the life I want. I've been living the life. I've been living the life I wanted for 23 years. And this film fatale, uh, this is going to get illuminated to you. Look our look our candle, candle. Yeah, it's going to get illuminated to you. And um, this is someone doing spells on you. See, it don't have a case. And, and this got illuminated to you. That That's when you're being initiated into this uh, tarot land uh, that people does spells on you. Yep. And they'll do root work on your eyes. And hermit, you're going to receive abundance. And I told you I'm hermit. Did you see? Yeah, I'm hermit. I got six in me. I got five Virgos in me six times. Yeah. And if you go by these people that look up your birth chart, it said I had a Libra. I mean, no, no, it was Virgo. It didn't tell me six times, and we're going to receive abundance. Yeah. You, priest. You, priest, Virgo. You're a hero. See, this is me. Priest, Virgo is a hero, and that's me. Hey, yeah, that's me. That's me. Okay, and who's a child divine? What's he want to say? What's he want to say? What's these child divine little boys want to say? What do they want to say? Oh, they're saying they're healing for you. Thank you, Mama. They're using their crystals and they're healing. And, you know, I have a son that actually bought me a, a healing stone. And it's a it's a tiger's eye, that blue tiger's eye. And I wear it. And I thank you for that, son. I love that. And, and I need to bring it in here and use it as a pendulum. Yeah. You can make a pendulum and you need to make you a circle. With yes, no, maybe, and a no or something, you can write on it. And that's how you'll find it. And student, you're taking chances on yourself. And that's what you need to do, student. Yeah, and what about this person that used to be a prostitute, I guess, but they're not anymore, and they're not negotiating the power of their spirit anymore? It's good for you. Don't. Yeah, don't do that anymore, honey. Don't, don't do that. Oh, now they're having foresight. Well, it's about time we tell them, ain't it? It's about time you get you some foresight, honey. And what about gossipers? What's gossipers do in the community? Oh, you're all fated to have a book. You're all fated that this wheel of fortune's coming back around to you all. And all you gossips that gossips on me, it doesn't matter. It's coming back to you. So, fated to come back around to you, all the gossip. Ain't that funny? It's funny. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, what about hero? What hero wants to say? Hero said. Hang on a minute. What hero said? Hang on. What's hero want to say, Dave? Hero wants to say... He wants to give you a message or she wants to give you a message and tell you how much they appreciate you for helping them with this right here. And what does a networker want to say? Networker wants to say, oh, I understand about this lineage from the Bible I, that you've been communicating about. I understand and I've been getting messages about it. Oh, and ain't that something? And what about vampire upside down? Well, you keep on believing because it's true and and one day it'll be all true, you know, one day, one day. One day when it's right time, this vampire, uh-oh, an omen's coming to you, bad, bad omen. Could even be deaf, that means, all right? It just, it was omen to happen. It's an omen, you know. And what about bully? What about bully asshole? Bully asshole at, uh, needs to quit bullying people. What's he need to do? He needs to re he needs to interpret better. You need to interpret your your talking better, and maybe that's something I'm trying to do. And I I just hope I can help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all, and I'm trying to help myself. 
So just bear with me, you guys. You guys. Just bear with me, you two guys. And then we'll be okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me use these little animal ones. See what it said today. Can we have an animal? Oh, animal, we got one quickly. Oh, we got a little badger. And it says, be fearless and bold like a little badger tells you to, okay? Yeah, you're being fearless and bold in what you're wanting. And, you're, and you will achieve it, honey. Honey or sir, you will, I promise. Oh, and you're having the electric ill spirit in your brain and your ideas to life. And that's all you need to do. And you could be seeing 424 a lot. Or 442. Okay, what else? Or 244. Oh, and I did see 244 yesterday, Spirit. I did, and I asked you something, and I said, if it's true, let it happen at 222. But it happened at 244. And thank you, Spirit. I'm going to read that in a minute. Oh, and then we got Spider Spirit, and you make your dreams real, you know. And they say Aquarius are spiders, so look, we know how to make ourselves, we know how to make our dreams become a reality. If you're an Aquarius out there, because this reading is for Aquarius, I feel it's for Aquarius and teaching us what people's doing behind our back. Oh, and it could be for uh, Taurus, too, since he's a big bull right there, a big bull buffalo. And it says, the abundant universe will provide. So don't you worry, yeah. See, bull, Taurus, the abundant universe will provide. And, you know, you just got to keep believing in yourself. Little squirrels, you got little squirrels coming around? I do. I love my little squirrels. I watch them every day. And they'll just store their nuts up in their cheeks. They're funny little creatures. I like watching squirrels. And Armadillo says, set healthy boundaries. And we have. And we do set healthy boundaries. We know how to do that. And then we got Rabbit Spirit. And it's saying now it is a lucky time for you to venture into this new venture it, uh, that you're doing and it come out on abundance now is a lucky time you're going to reap rewards yeah you're going to reap rewards honey and this little boy that's healing oh and he's a child divine and it says you know you're co-creating with spirit and you could be seeing a lot of crows around you out there sons out there look how you could be yeah, and that's how you, you got to co-create with spirit. What about lots, chance? And they don't just mean deaf crows. I like crows. You can, you can actually hear crows saying something. Pay attention. I heard it say, hey, Pam, warning, don't go down there. I heard it one day. I don't care if anybody believes me because I can hear animals. Oh, and look here. It says take a chance on what you want. And, and it says yes if you got a question, okay? So, Pig Spirit said, use your mind wisely. Use it wisely. And what about this foresight prostitute uh, that ain't a prostitute anymore? It's saying, horse spirit, freedom is yours. Freedom is yours. Oh, yeah, because I guess you do kind of live a free kind of life, don't you? Oh, and then right here, Wheel of Fortune Gossipers, it said, stag spirit, take the lead. Take the lead and quit gossiping. That's what it means. Take the lead and stand up. Quit gossiping about people, okay? I'm not gossiping about anyone. I, I, all I'm doing is telling about things that's happened in my life, so don't say I'm gossiping. I sit here and tend to my own damn business. I don't bother anyone. All right, what about feathers, from, uh, messages from our hero? What's hero once said to us? Hero said, oh, fox spirit, and it tells you to think on your feet. I got four, four or five little foxes around, and I love them, and I give them dog food. I done told you all. And, you know, they're trying to give us a message, and it's telling us to think on our own feet. That's what they wanted to say. And what about communication with the with our networker people? We need to communicate with someone. Oh, and it said moth spirit. Like a moth to a flame, 1919. Moth to a flame. Yeah, he'll call my name. Call my name. Yeah, now, hey. Hey, hey, woo -hoo -hoo, woo -hoo -hoo. oh yeah. Oh, it telling you to surrender now, networker. Surrender now to finding somebody to help you with this. And this omen said, uh, for this vampire, that koala spirit, spirit has a plan for this person. Oh, they're omen for something. I don't know if it's good or bad, but they're getting ready to find out, whoever that is. 
And this old bully, it needs to interpret how they speak to others a little bit better. You all need to uh, clear out clear out the clutter, frog spirit. Clear out the clutter in your mind. That's what it's telling you. Clear it out, okay? Well, I hope I, I hope that little message was good for you all. I did like that one. You know, don't you all? Didn't you all like that one? Now, let me give you a little more something. And I believe I'm going to give you all a little bit of these. And, you know, you don't have my permission to steal what I thought of with my brain, okay? And your angels, uh, this is what Pamela made. And your angels gave you the gift to realize how much you can benefit by counting your blessings daily. By counting your blessings each day, you'll get your heart's desires. And, yes, you will. And, looky there, you surely will. And your angels gave you the gift of attracting opportunities into your life. And they also gave you awareness of the opportunities you should take and the ones that you shouldn't take. Yeah, they did do that. Uh-huh, yep. And your angels gave you the gift of knowing on the first day you meet someone if you're meant for a higher purpose or if you're meant to learn lessons from them. Yeah. Yeah, Spirit will do that. Yep. You know. So it's saying, uh, count your blessings. Uh, we're, we're gifting an opportunity to you. And you'll know it. The, uh, and we're gifting an opportunity for you to learn what your higher purpose is. You know, that's what it is. You're, you're learning from your lessons. Oh, and it said your angels gave you the gift of knowing when people are doing magic on you. Yeah, magic was up there, remember? And spirit gives you the strength to return it all back to sender. Alakazam, deal it all. We send it all back to you. Woo! <laughs> we do know how to do that. And your angels blessed you when they made your hands to heal many. And your hands are a treasure to many people. And they work miracles in others' lives. Yeah, they do. And this is going to be a lucky time for you, honey, ma'am, that knows how to, that knows, oh, look, Iron, your angels gave you the gift of writing. And, you're, you know, you're good at poems and letters and stories. Anything you write is good and amazing. And your angels gave you the gift of renewing yourself from poverty mindset to successful mindset, all from using your most wonderful assets and qualities to become a success. That's all within ourselves, you know. And maybe writing short stories will be your successful. Yeah, because look at our hands writing be a success. Look there. Somebody out there that's a writer. Your hands are a gift from God. And you're going to be a, a story. It's going to be a success. Wait. Ooh. See? It all comes together. Because we done had handwriting authenticity. I don't know where that one was, but I know we had it. I know we had that card. Maybe it's up here. Oh, yeah. It's on a priest up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I was right. Yeah, I was right. And that's the second car come out. See, it, it does all play in. And your angels gave you the gift of learning life lessons once you've realized past choices and actions you've done before. You wise up and you don't ever go back and do it again. Yeah, and it ain't no new. Yes, maybe it's no. You don't do, go back and do it again. No, you, find, you, you finally realize and it said don't go back and do dumb again. Okay, honeys? Don't do it, honeys. And your angels gave you the gift of being very creative and you're great at art, music, dance, or writing. And you have many talents. Woo! Let's put you on writing because that's true. And your angels gave you the gift of goodness and you're the type of person who shows goodness to all you meet and Satan can't harm you because your spirit guides are standing behind you and or behind us and so nothing will ever get to us. No, it won't. So don't worry. Healer of AIDS is, don't you worry, your hands are a blessing. Don't you worry, ma'am, or sir, don't you worry. Oh, and we learned our lessons, and we're going to have a successful mindset. Oh, and you might have had a vision of it, because they give you the gift of visions, and you can see things that are going to happen before they ever happen, and your guides will show you what to do. To show others in pain. Like if they're in pain, they'll show you how to help them. Oh, ain't that wonderful? Hey, yeah, yeah. And Alakazan, Dilla the Daw, they're doing, they're, and the karma is t coming back to them now. Now, what's the rest? What's the last? Oh, now this is the rest. Your angels gave you a gift of 
of prayer knowledge and you know the angels help people that pray from a pure and honest heart space yep they do that is that is so true right there if i ever heard it in my life okay well i hope these little messages help somebody out there today because i can tell you right now you're going to get your heart's desires and you're going to have an opportunity uh, and this is this is for your higher purpose, and you do know how to return magic back to center. And your hands are a blessing, and they work miracles for people in their in your life. And and they also know how to write good poems and stories. And you're going to be a success. And karma is coming to the ones that mess with you. And you're you're a good you're you're uh, you're just a good person. And Satan can't get to you because you listen to art and you know how to create. And and he give you to get the visions God did and the angels. And you know how to work from a pure and honest heart space. So that's how you're going to get it. So don't worry, 25, 55. Don't you worry out there. Well, I love y'all and I hope I helped you tremendously. I hope I helped somebody out there today. And if not tremendously, just a little bit, I hope I helped you all. <laughs> all right. And I thank you all and peace and I'll see you later.